Hey, it's Walt K4OGO. Well, I'm not on a beach today. Um, actually, I'm up north on the Great Lakes. I've got a work trip up here. And I'm um, in Marinette, Wisconsin. It's a Great Lakes shipyard that we do some work with. I work in ship design. Anyway, I brought some toys to play with and I'm gonna go up in my hotel room there and set up portable in there. So uh, stick around, let's go upstairs and see what happens. <laughs> Well, here's the setup at, if we're looking out the window there, right across that bridge is the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. And here we go with today's setup. Got my battery. I'm using my smaller 16 foot fiberglass pole. I'm just gonna use it up a few feet and put the loop on it. And speaking of loop, there it is. My Alpha Antenna AL705 QRP magnetic loop. So let's put this thing together Let's see if we can do something. Okay, here we go. It's set up. Um, there's the loop. There's the radio, the battery. I cut off, I'm giving up some comforts here. I cut off the heater to get rid of what will probably be QRM if I don't. So there's my setup, my chair, and uh, I'm gonna spin this loop around. It's on the pole, if you look. So if you can see this, I can spin it around, kind of make it directional. So we're going to spin it towards the outside here and uh, operate it and uh, see if we can make some contacts. It's uh, afternoon here. See if we can make some 20 meter contacts. There's a little bit of a skill set you develop with this antenna. Tuning it, what you do is you set it to the frequency you want to use and then tune the antenna and listen to the loudest noise floor. When you get it there, you're on. Then go check the SWR and you can see if you've got it. Okay, I'm going to give a quick demonstration on tuning this uh, loop. So when uh, you can see here, we're at 7.230. What you do is you go over to the tuner on the loop and you listen for the noise to rise. Kind of hear it right there. There's a little bit of a feel right there. Okay, I think that might be it. So let's check the SWR right there and see where we're at. There you go. You nailed it. That's how sharp and how narrow um, it is when with this loop. I mean, with any mag loop, but anyway, that there you go. You can see I, I, I've got it dialed straight in, so um, it, it's uh, we're there. Kilo four, Oscar, Golf Oscar. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. I'm portable in Wisconsin. I you weak, weak, weak. Kilo 4, Oscar, try, try, try hit again. Yes, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. No, 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 no copy. Try it again. Sorry, the progression is not there. Well, the security is QSA. Victory for two shall be here in the zone two. November 4, Tango Alpha Tango, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. On QSL, this is Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, I'm portable.
Yes, it's Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. And K4, OGO. I'm in Marinette, Wisconsin. Northern Wisconsin. Okay, 20 meters was tough. <laughs> A lot of learning there, you know what I mean? It was like, we'll call that the learning curve. Let's go to 40 now. It's dark, and we're going to go for 40. And yes, I changed shirts, and this is my WLUP, the loop shirt. And it's intentional because I'm using the loop. Anyway, let's get at it. Well, I got at it on 40 meters, and to be honest with you, the band conditions this night were just horrible. Nothing happening at all. Oh, my God. Give me back my saltwater amplifier. <laughs> I need to be on a beach with a wire. I gotta be honest with you. Look, I'm not gonna say anything bad about this thing. Look, I'm in a hotel. I got floors above me, floors below me. I got a window that's facing in one direction. Um, the antenna kind of like, you know, I almost made a couple contacts. I think it's a great antenna. I think this is not the place for this antenna. And I'm sure other people have used it in a hotel room, but look, hotels are noisy as hell for one. Um, I got the heat back on too, it was getting cold in here. But um, you know, I don't wanna say anything bad about this. Like, I've got a little bit invested in it too. So uh, I, wanna, I wanna make this thing work. I learned a lot. I mean, it's the first time I really used it and I really learned how to tune this thing. And it's, uh, that's, that's cool, you know? And I've seen some people have an incredible success. I'm up in the middle of the nation, all the way north. I mean, there's really nothing around me either. This thing might be a great antenna for, you know, somewhat semi-closer or whatever. I don't know what I'm looking for, the words. But anyway, I've had fun. I've got um, about five and a half hours invested in this, and I kind of almost made two contacts on 20 and 40 being, I don't know if the band was dead, or what was going on, but boy, it was just flat line. You, you saw there where I was tuning the loop and showing that <laughs> there was nothing on the waterfall, so I just went around and did that. Did that. It is a Thursday night. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I was thinking maybe I'd catch a net or something, but anyway, it was. Um, I, you know, you know what they say. Are you mad? No, I'm not mad. I had a good time with it. Um, it's cool. I'm looking forward to working with this loop. And one thing I've learned, and I think everyone will probably tell you, uh, using a loop, a mag loop, it, it takes work and it takes some skill. And I'm trying to develop that skill. I think it also takes a better location than a hotel in the middle of northern Wisconsin um, when it's snowing outside. So we'll see. Um, I will try this again in another location and we'll see how good we can do. But, um, you know, who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry I wasn't like, you know, shooting DX across the country with a wire or across, across the Atlantic Ocean with a wire like I normally do. But um, I had a good time anyway. And I know I say that every video, but it was cool. I'm learning. I want to learn how to use this. And if you want to learn, I mean, with me, I'm not an expert. I'm fairly new ham, only about a year now. And I like to go out and experiment. There's so many people that are theory geniuses and then you know you say something on a group or whatever and you get shot down well you know what shoot me down i'm going to go out and experiment and try things and if i fail i fail if i don't and i'm successful you'll see my success i think this is a, a video where you may have seen a little bit of failure and maybe a little bit of success i learned some things anyway i'm walt k4 ogo if you enjoy my videos Look at some of my other ones. I've had some great successes. Um, yeah, subscribe, and uh, we'll go to other places. I work in shipbuilding. I travel to a lot of ports and coastlines, and uh, I also do that you know, on my own for leisure. But um, I like doing things like that. And if you enjoy videos where, you know, portable on the beach, portable in a harbor, please subscribe to my channel. And um, until next time, 73.